Course Restore, upload your course to Moodle Cloud. It's possible to save a course you've made on one Moodle site and reuse it on a different Moodle site. When you save your course, the process is called backup, and when you add it or upload it to a different site, the process is called restore. In this video, we'll look at how you can restore the practice course you made during our Learn Moodle MOOC into your own personal Moodle Cloud site. You can also restore your course to the Moodle site of your school or organisation, but the way you do it will be different, so you need to check with your administrator. First, make sure you have saved or backed up your practice course using the earlier video to help you, and make sure you have it in a safe place on your computer. Here I am on my Moodle Cloud site, where I am an administrator. You may not be an administrator on your organisation site, and that is why you should ask the admin for their advice if you want to restore your practice course there. But from my Moodle Cloud site, from the administration block, I click Courses, and then Restore Course. Then I can import my backup file either by clicking the button to upload it or, as I'm going to do, by dragging and dropping it in. Then when I click the Restore button, I'm prompted to check the backup details and we scroll down and click Continue. Note how it appears we are doing in reverse what we did when we backed up the course previously. So on the next screen we decide if we want to add this as a new course or to an existing course. And again, you might experience this differently if you're restoring to your organization's Moodle site. I'm going to restore mine as a new course. And here I could choose the category, although I only have one category at the moment. Clicking Continue takes me to another screen to check the settings and then press Next. I'm doing this quickly because I've already checked the settings. We can edit the name and details of the course, decide which activities to keep, move on again, do a final check and then press Perform Restore. And once the process is complete, there's a green success message and the practice course is now available on my Moodle Cloud site for me to continue developing it.